Welcome back. It is the face of Friday night, the last edition till the elections. We'll be back here after the election, the presidential and parliamentary elections. When they're done, we'll be back here. Uh, by the and time they are not done, well, I don't suppose that they won't be done. Uh, according to a statement, uh, when they are done, we'll be back here. Yes, uh, yes, indeed. When they are done, we'll be back here. We won't be here before they are done. It, it is in the if. Well, um, viewers, of course, I still go on and urge every one of you, one, go and pick your voter's card if you don't have, well, it's not a voter's card now, it's the national identity card. If you don't have it, go and pick it. Go and pick the voter identification slip from wherever it is. Please go and pick it and ensure that you are a voter as well. Number next, ensure you know where you vote from. I saw people that are supposed to vote in Kira that have been indicated for Buate. It's in close proximity, but it will be very frustrating for you to know in the morning of the election. And on election day, please be there, 6.30 by 7 a.m. be there. And those of you that will vote late, the, vo the election time, the timeline is at 4 o'clock, they will close the polling stations. But if you're in the line by the time it hits 4 o'clock, and uh, the guys at the Electoral Commission, if uh, I say this wrong, please send text to correct me. If you're in the line by 4 o'clock and it's the closing time, you will be allowed to vote. But those that are coming in won't be allowed to join the line. Of course, a friend of mine thinks that that is a little too short a time, but they've also explained that uh, if you prolong it a little too long, then the counting goes into the night. It has a lot of logic. Please be there by 6.30. Try and keep around as much as possible. Uh, be as peaceful as possible. And uh, yes, Chaz. Am I free to give a contrary message? Well, you don't have the privilege. Th then what do you tell these ghosts? How about the ghosts come early in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't so, know so about I the ghosts. Saying, uh, was, how was, do they travel? I was saying, they, they, so by 1995, mm. Uganda had been, you know the words they used to, to use were capture. Mm. So they had captured. Eh? We captured Buru, we captured Lira, we captured, so they had captured Uganda and and we had that conversation. Now, if you remember very well, decentralization policy mm. versus uh, uh, federal, federalism mm. and the return of traditional institutions bypassed the constitutional making process. I.e., that decision was made by the army high command and the council, I think, sitting in Guru. So the center of power was in the high command of the NRA. The Army Council of the NRA. That's why there was the consensus, which has since collapsed and given way to the family consensus. Uh, 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 and, and that's why Tinjifut and the others are in prison because they've questioned them, them as a project. But that's for another day. So we say power belongs to the people. Even when we are saying it, one group has won the Constituent Assembly elections. Uh, uh, and you have Mr. Museveni with 10 delegates, you have the Army Council electing 30, so, so, and, and those are already 40 delegates, 40 constituencies. And then you have Ugandans stopped from organizing. Political parties had been stopped, were stopped from organizing. So Ugandans were not organized, were not allowed to organize at a national level. You would only come as an individual to I face. I want to see where this is going. Oh, yes. So that's why we now make a declaration. Unoccupied people who are not even organized, who are even not strong, who don't have the power. That power belongs to us. But it shall be exercised mm -hmm. eh, through institutions of the state, the captured state. And one of those institutions is the Electoral Commission. And we want to go into its composition, uh, uh, this, the process, because the process is also usurped. Parliament that is supposed to, to, to audit, to, to audit the, the presidency is usurped. Is the, 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 is the caucus, it's the caucus. We have had time to discuss that. Mm. And therefore, all in all, power, all power with the electoral commission is vested in the president. But even when you put a commission, you have Mr. Wakojo, who is part of the family consensus. Because you trace him in, in some case, 
and you can see some kutesa giving birth to someone who is married to someone so it's still the same family and they are the ones who are managing the register it cannot be credible it cannot be credible and 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 that is why some ghosts pop up like popcorns because well, well, they are not well, very disciplined well, 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 well really uh, Sam Rakojo is only one of so many at the Electoral Commission. Y yeah, yes, I've, I've, I've contradicted me. Because the, the source is credible. That there are a special team up the district. By the way, they were even going to amend this law to provide for another office around the district returning office. So you have officers, you have people who have been trained on how to manipulate data. How to manage data? Manipulate. Because you see, you have asked me how does the ghost polling station come into existence. Mm. Because you see, if you want to put in one million votes, you don't put one million votes in one village. It's like a drip. Hmm? If you want to put water in a human being, it's by drip and it, it must, there must be a formula. How many drops per second per, 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 per time? So, if you are going to put in one million votes, you must procure them and then spread them. And they must result into a result. Uh, they must not affect your, your, your presidential, your parliamentary candidate. The various parliamentary candidates in those contested areas, in those areas you are thinking about, uh, must be beneficiaries. They must benefit from them. You see, so you have to balance it very well mm -hmm. when you are going to manufacture those polling polling station those ghost polling stations and and the discover of some of these by the way could also be a diversion because you have to check where it has been and normally it is done in populated areas and in areas where the one who is going to rig who has this machine is very popular and less contested so the other day you saw mr vesija with a, a crowd in Mbarara. Mm -hmm. how is his performance in in Rwampara? you know Rwampara? All that stretch from Ruti up to Ntungamo. Well, how is his performance? Does he even have polling agents on the polling stations? Because even the primary election itself, they failed to resolve it. The NRM internal system mm -hmm. failed to resolve their primary issue. They failed. And, and guns were involved. They, 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 you, you saw what happened in Kanungu. So it is easy to identify in polling stations. You put in your ghosts. And you, you, because the ones who are managing the, the, the voting system anyway are your people. The presiding officers are either crime preventers or they are campaign managers of the, of the party assisted by the, the, the ones who are doing security hours. You disturb a bit, you want to question, they put you inside. You see? By the way, even this system is not properly audited. If you are not in the line by four, you said you will not vote. Yes. Does it take account of the person held at home? What do you mean? The road broke. They will hold you somewhere. If, if you're not there, you're not oh, there. Oh, yes, yes. Because already the crime <coughs> presenters have a register. The other day I was with you when someone came and said he had been removed from the register by the crime preventers. So the crime preventers have a register. They have done a study. When he alleged. But I mean, you look at the demeanor of that peasant, really. <laughs> Why would he have to ride his bicycle to come to your, to your station to, to complain that help me air this? Uh, um, so you, you and the Kampara, the, 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 so the crime preventers have data on people who should not be on the register. So you have real people. You're giving them too much. What? That the crime preventers are removing people from the register and the electoral commission is following this and the source is Mwanga Chivun. Hmm? The credible no, source no, is the, Mwanga the, 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 No, no, that was, that was on a different issue. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pursuing that particular issue. On the, the, on the, on the other one, the, 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 the credible he found, he found, he found your friends. But the, but he, he found your friends, you know how they were selected and taken for training for IT. That is your Mr. friends, that is, you, that your is, friends. That is Mr. He found Mr. them, Chibundi. yes, he's he the found them. Source. I mean, you know, he's, 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 he's fine, a minister. He's, 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 he's if he's the credible source, then I rest my case. Why? Because it's Wanga Chibu. Com that complete that your point. Complete your point. He's, he's, he's a minister of internal affairs. Because, you know, for me, the, he's, he's the, the, the crime opposition. preventers. Oh, yes. He's and he would, be, he would say no, anything this, good uh, the crime uh, about this. Whom he wants them to move from power. Boss, this whistleblower, is he an RM? The whistleblower who has gotten ghosts. Ghosts. Is he an RM? Does he necessarily need to be an RM? But because the information he gave was credible, it has been acted on. I think he's the honorary. 
who has been attempting to, to fight uh, uh, and get out of the shadows and become real, Minister of Indian Affairs, is telling credible information about those when he wants to get out of power. Of course, he will malign them as much as he could. What, what could Charles, the bill they can I, 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 I want you to, to wrap this up because I, I want to give people hope. Uh, and uh, instead of giving them hope, you're saying it is cantankerous. Which, the, this one, mm. where the Electoral Commission has started apologizing, it's going to lose its voice. If you're talking about <laughs> apologizing, every other second they will be apologizing. What would you rather they did? What? You see, most of these apologies are genetically modified. You remember that in your apology, I don't want to talk about the other guys uh, who are on trial who are also made an apology. Apologies, we, we need to see, we need to intercept, we, we need to check the recording of the intercepted call that, uh, that ordered Chibun to apologize. When, when, when did he last apologize? You think there has not been any mess with the Electoral Commission? There has been. It, there, has, there have been a lot of complaints. Um, uh, 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 but be that as it may, the register is not credible. The, the, the process of the selection of presiding officers is not credible. Charles, let me challenge you. Um, a lot of governments that have changed, especially within Africa, in, they have been in spite of the Electoral Commission. People will come and defeat the incumbent. It happened in Zambia. It happened in Malawi. Uh, when uh, Jerry Rawlings was leaving, he had a uh, nominated uh, successor, and he said, this Richard Baguma. He was defeated. It happened in Nigeria, yeah, Nigeria but, as well, which, which good of those, luck, uh, in spite of his good luck. Which of, those, which, which of those states were captured states? What does captured mean? The, the state of Rwanda was captured by RPA and dismantled. What you have now is a different state that belongs to Mr. Kagame. Well, well, the state well, well, of Uganda Charles, if, if that was is your, captured. If that is your the state imagination, of, of I'll the Democratic you. Republic of Jerry Rawlings took over government in Ghana. Government. And uh, yes, he took over uh, yes. like the Museveni's did. And he was the presiding president, he was the commander in chief, he had come in with his soldiers. But when the moment came, even when he uh, nominated uh, an heir, the winds blew the different direction. Oh, yes, you see, if, if uh, we won the election we had in 1995, before 1996, was a different election. The Akabai, mm. the Akabai Commission, it was given some bit of freedom, and the experiment was done. It will not repeat again. The constitution we made in 1995, uh, uh, its shortcomings notwithstanding, was fair. But later on, Mr. Seven had to change it. So, you know, you now depend on his goodwill. And, and his goodwill is thinning I think, I day think. by day, to literally zero. That he won't I hand over power except to the anointed. I think, Mr. Chibazo. Richard, I, I, yeah, yeah, I no, need no, the hope. We, we must, no, no. Don't ask me about hope. Let's talk about what is on the ground. Uganda mm. is not a hopeless country. We are not living in a hopeless country. No. You see, we, we were here in 1996. There were elections. Elections have been held. Like all the exercises here and elsewhere, there could be weaknesses. There are things that need to be improved. And not just in the elections, by the way in our lives, in our homes. There are things that need to be improved. But for me, the practice of election mm. in itself is something to applaud, especially considering our history. That, that, I think, is critical. I also think that like all the other things we are doing in this country, on this continent, by the way, in Asia, in, in Latin America, I can confidently predict that you'll have some logistical challenges in this election. I, I, I can. I'll tell you one. <laughs> someone I can someone say. was telling me that the, so the, the machine we're using, mm. the biometric machine, when it was tried in Nigeria, and of course I want to suppose that it's because the Nigerian population is very big, uh, it gave way. No, forget about Bang. just the bigness of the population. Y you see, uh, in Kenya, if the transmission system. Uh, I suppose really genuinely, at some point broke down and it almost tip ke tipped Kenya over once again. Yeah, but you see, with you, I, so I, we I wouldn't be no, no, I get case. onto the road mm. and do trainings, radio uh, journalist trainings 
in different places in the country. One of the things that will quickly break down is the, the projector, the PowerPoint projector, the nature of the roads, and those ones who have been with cameras, you have traveled with cameras. I know, I know. You know how they will jump. Electronic equipment in the dust that we have in this country, in the humidity of this country, on the roads of this country, will really, you can't have it 100%. So that one you can't predict. So this closure at of 4 p.m. cannot be strictly upheld. I, I, would, I would doubt that. So certainly you, you, uh, you have to expect... I mean, these guys are Tara, possibly. They've done their background checks. They've done everything. and they're I can bet that we shall have logistical challenges. I, I, I will bet <laughs> on that one. You can't take that one. Well, Paul and uh, Jotham, you need to pay me some of your money. Today I'm doing the EC's <laughs> spokesman's no, job. No, 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 no. No, no. So that's, that's, there has to be realism injected. The, the circumstances and conditions, the wealth or poverty of this nation and uh, a lot of us, the capabilities. What are the technical capabilities? What are those skills that the people have to manage this equipment and when it needs quick, simple, quick intervention repair, it will be done. In this studio, we have had the uh, equipment stopping and we shut down. We have had these microphones which we are having. <laughs> uh, I refuse to speak. So if, we are, if it's happening here with all this technical stuff, why do we really close our eyes that these things will happen. These things are going to happen. But we have practiced elections over time. Hold that on, must hold be on Richard. You see, the difference usually is in confidence. When I trust you, even when it breaks down, I still have the trust. I was reading today a book, and uh, uh, someone is writing about how an in a plane engine broke down, and they were moving on only one engine. But because the soldiers that were traveling on this plane had trust in this particular pilot, who actually confesses that he as well did not know whether they would actually arrive where they were going. But the trust issue was such that these guys thought, this guy is on top of his job. He will deliver them. <coughs> when I have trust issues, when I think, but this guy the other day populated this register with 20,000 ghosts. Is this thing genuinely breaking down? And it will genuinely break down, possibly. Then I have question marks. Have we developed trust enough to say, when, it's a, when it happens, it could be a genuine mistake, and it's a mistake, and Kigundu apologizes and scrapes off the 20,000, and life goes on. And Baguma says, but wait a minute, how, where did the ghosts pass? Ghosts fly, Buana. Uh, yeah. They don't have to be open doors for. No, no. They, they, then uh, when, when they start flying, then you should uh, close the air passages. You see? It depends on who you talk to mm. about this question of trust, of confidence, but also of the understanding of the entire and nature of the process. It, it depends on where you are. It depends on. But we also have expectations. Come and sir. for me, those expectations, I think, are legitimate. We would expect that we should have an election, that the equipment should go OK. Now, mm. they will tell you that you have not invested the amount that you should Hold invest. On. Hello? Fine. <laughs> Hello? Yes, good evening. Yes, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Your name, question or comment? Uh, Mr. Peter, first of all, I want to thank you. Welcome. For the good job you've done. Uh, it's now, I can tell the screen, it's uh, six days left now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I'm Raban and I'm going from Bukoya. This is Mubele District. Yes, go. Whether you know this side. Yes, I do. Go right ahead. Okay. Now, I'm very happy that at least you give that uh, child, the family, the child, enough time. Because we are very keen on, we want to listen to child. He's very, he's, he's making very good boy. Mm. And uh, we are uh, so <laughs> happy with the people. And, uh, Please vote wisely, <laughs> whoever you love. Make sure when you go and, go and vote, okay. and vote I wisely. possibly already know who you're voting for, this love for Charles. <laughs> you already have an idea where the vote is headed. Yes. Hello? Hello? Yes, good evening to you. Good evening. How are you doing, you people? 
We are well. Your name, question, or comment? Um, uh, my name is Derek, and I would love to first of all thank uh, Charles. Mm. God is great. For the good work he's doing out there. The, 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 this country will remember him for the good work and he'll do it on a prayer in the book. And uh, one thing I would love to say is that really, uh, when the wind of change, when the wave sweeps, even if you bring in the whole of Democratic Republic of Congo or the whole of Rwanda to come and vote, whether you bring in the group, when the wave of change has already has already swept, nothing can stop it. So I, I really think Ugandans, we should remain calm. We should uh, turn up and vote. I call upon every Ugandan to turn up and vote. And, uh, Very important. And respect whatever result will come up. If there's any uncertainty that is going to, to come up, it will be brought none by other than the state, I think. Because the state is the security of our country is at the hands of, the, of our state, and they, it's the one to guarantee our security. So, if they choose to shoot to kill unarmed citizens, that will be their bad. That will be so unfortunate. But uh, I, 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 I expect Uganda, Ugandans are calm and they love peace, and nothing should uh, get us on track. Thank you so much. Thank you, um, Charles. Mm. Yeah, oh. You see, Mr. Wagoma Richard says Uganda is hopeful. Mm. Yes, but I would love to to see how he, he picks those colors. Because Mr. Mseveni is on record to have said this election is going to be rigged. They are going to rig him out. He's worried. Yes, he's, he's on record. And for him, but and again, he also says, those who want to, to disturb the peace, I will smash them. So he is, he is dis despondent on the outcome of the vote. He thinks it won't be free and fair, but he is threatening violence. Now, the, 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 and, and you see how he has even reacted to dissent. Because all that Tinyefuza has been doing is peaceful dissent. He's not throwing a stone. Not that he does. Yes? Well, if he's uh, still a soldier, he's disobeyed uh, the accord. Actually, all the candidates are saying the same, that they are going to be rigged, and if they're uh -huh. rigged, they're going to be defiant. Uh, so it's not now, just them saving the top. No, I was coming. It's for was, all the candidates. I was, I was coming. Uh, mm. uh, uh, good that you concede well, uh, very fast. Ambassador Virigua actually explained to me that the, the, there is no difference between resistance and defiance. Uh -huh. Now, the second the one. Same language. The uh -huh. second one is Mr. Besiji. The election can only be free and fair when he has won. Short of that, no leaving the, the, the pitch. Uh -huh. uh, and, and the third one is Mr. Mama Babas. He has brought in a new, a, a very interesting angle. Foreigners are coming to vote. Oh, how many? How many? By the way, do we even have capacity in this region to transport foreigners that would treat the result? From which countries? He uh, said Rwanda, Tanzania, How many? And how Congo. many would come from? How sure are you that those who would come from Rwanda would not come to vote out Mr. Mseven? Who, who manufactured RPA and, and it destabilized them and occupied them and... Yeah, yeah. so you... Because you, you, it's not easy. It's not easy to... But you see... But, but you see, Charles, for me so that is have, actually an important it, angle. That a former Prime Minister, the former Secretary General of the NRM, the guy that was uh, a cog or uh, a linchpin in this, is saying that actually we have voters that come from across the border. He is doing a confession. You know this is Lent. It is the season when people do confessions, right? This is penance. He's saying, Buana, we've done this before and I'm sure they come from this uh, Yeah, but it's, 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 this is a password. This is, this is a person. He, he does not, he is not saying that there is a Chivazo who is a Musamia from Kenya coming to cross over to Uganda to vote. He's simply giving you a password. What is that foreigner going to do? How is that foreigner going to intervene? The way you intervened in the South Sudan, but failed. So uh, are we know. having a foreigner who is going to intervene here and treat the result? Oh, Abuma, mm. do, do you worry if uh, Amama Mbabazi says uh, that actually these people are coming in to vote? 
we have had we have had elections really that he's been in charge of we have had elections and these things are not new they've always come and voted these things have been talked about depends on which does side, it give it credence depends when on he which says, side you are it is when you're on this side you say these things they say the same things on depending on which side they are but you see for one, to say that this country is going to disintegrate after 18th, it's probable. It's possible. They might have their facts Actually, right. um, the caller that was in here was mm -hmm. saying, forget about it. We're but going to be, if caller, it is going to fall apart, it's going to be the state anyway. Yeah, and, and you know, he or said, the he of said some things very useful and said, please be peaceful. Please, this election is going to end, my own for view that. and estimation, and we are going to be here before these cameras. You see, you, you, you forget, forget about peace. Why? Because we are already in violence. If you have got all these guns on you. I'll take a break and then return. <laughs> so you see, this country is if, going to be here, it's going to be peaceful, and we shall be going about our business. If, really? you, have got, if you have got all these we guns, we shall be driving here. <laughs>